get breakfast and get off the ship. go to our all-exclusive beach day right here auto progresso company techno hotel
This is the Techno Hotel. It was $39 and $25 for kids. And we took the shuttle here, it was free. So it's all exclusive. We got a buffet, got all exclusive drinks, pool area, beach area, free Wi Fi at the reception area. They also offer, I think my mom, she's gonna do it. They, if you stay on the bus, they'll take you to the Maya Ruins, I think for free too. So she's doing that. And it takes an hour away from the beach time, but I think I'm gonna stay here at the beach. So my first drink is the pina colada, and Landon got a virgin pina colada. I think we're gonna get in the pool and then probably go just look for the beach. This is way less crowded than Mr. Sancho's. And this is the Progresso. And so far it's nice, I mean, smaller. I think there's two pools and two bars and a beach area so we're gonna find a beach area and I'll show you guys that okay found some iguanas Those were fake iguanas. We're gonna go check out the food and see what they have. Hola, hola, good. All right, so I just went to the buffet area. This is mostly snacks, nachos, quesadillas, rice, beans, some fruit, some salad, chicken, strawberry daiquiri. Landon's out in the pool area. The water is really cold. I'm gonna see. They said the beach area is cold as well, so I'm gonna check it out. This could take some use, getting used to, but it is really cold. But it's supposed to be like 90 degrees here. We are, it's February 18th, I think. So it's not bad it's coming from Michigan when we were negative last week. So, so far it's a nice, quiet area. All right, so the food is really good. Um, not bad at all. So this this whole excursion, I booked it online through Shore Excursioner, and it was thirty nine dollars. I think twenty five dollars for a kid. It include transportation. So to get to Progressive, which is the longest pier they said for any cruise ship, you do have to take the free shuttle bus shuttle they have from the cruise um, terminal. So once you get off the cruise ship, you walk through. There's a couple of shores stores um, some duty free area and then you get to the bus terminal and it's a free shuttle so you take that shuttle down supplies in my drinks <laughs> take that shuttle down and then we went to the auto progressive terminal which for some reason I got on the wrong bus bus so they took us to the right area the uh, auto progressive area and in that area we waited till 10:45 for our tour to start and it's at the Techno Hotel. So for $39, all schools of drinks, um, food buffet, beach, pool area, and transportation. And what they told us is you could get on here, and if you would have stayed on the bus, they would have took you to the Mayans for free, which I should have did that. 
it only takes an hour of your time, so I would have been missing an hour of beach time. But my mom went on that, so I should have given her my camera to record the Mayans. Hello. But besides that, Landon, how was the water? Good. Cold, right? Yes. It's pretty nice. It's not like it's kind of, Mr. Sancho's It's kind of like a party party um place. This place is more calm, laid back, and not a lot of people at all. But the food is good. The drinks are good. They, the waiters are very nice. They do have free Wi-Fi in the reception area. I might go there just to upload some photos on Facebook. I don't know, maybe. But I do want to go find the beach area and show you guys that. But overall, for $39, I think this is a good value. So I definitely, I got this off of shoreexcursioner.com. And it was really, pretty easy once we got to the port to um, find where we were going. They had the auto progresso signs everywhere. So, good, it was a good experience, guys. Do they have chips? How, how's your cheese quesadillas, Landon? Good. Good. I went back and got some fruit with like this stuff on it. I don't know what it's called, but it's really good. Landon got cheese quesadillas. He's really picky, so I'm glad they do have cheese quesadillas. In case you do have little ones that only eat certain things. He does eat cheese quesadillas, so that's good. So we're gonna go to the beach area. I keep saying that, we are gonna go. They do have massages, 30, 30 minutes I think for $15. Two people for $40. On port, they did have it cheaper. It was like $15 for um, 30 minutes, $20 for, $25 for an hour. So I only brought an extra like $15 with me. I do wanna get a massage, so I'm gonna see. I might see if I give them $10 if I can get like a deal or something because you know you can talk them down because I do want to tip the bus driver and the waiters so I'm going to see if I can get a, a massage for cheap guys. Alright guys so this is the beach area here at Techno Hotel. Doesn't look too deep because I see them all standing out there. Even kids standing out there so it can't be too deep. Alright guys, I know I probably look crazy. My hair is absolutely everywhere. So I just got out the water and this is like the shallowest water I've ever been in. Legit, we went all the way out, even my son, all the way. There's no people out there as far as we went. Like, it never went past my waist at all. And I was out quite a few feet, like halfway out there it seems like. And no one, no one could like, it, went, it didn't go past anyone's like waist, even the kids, like my son, it's like knee level. I'm gonna point, hopefully you guys can see this little kid out there. He's standing, so it's really shallow. It starts off deeper by the shore and the more you go out, it's so shallow. So the water's really warm, way warmer than the pool. Found, um, show we're just having a good time guys at techno hotel so definitely check it out if you guys are coming to progresso Got like 15 minutes left before we leave so I just got something else to eat I'm just gonna wait here 
and met some cool people from Canada and they want to go to karaoke tonight so I may or may not go depending on how I feel but definitely had a good time definitely worth the $39 in Progresso they go to Technic Hotel um, the drinks are flowing they do keep harassing me about a tip so make sure you do tip your waiter I will tip them when I leave although they asked me like three times already so I told them I was gonna wait till the end I'm gonna tip them but overall, this is a good excursion, especially for the price. It's $39 to get all exclusive drinks. They do have a small buffet, which is really good. They have a couple pool areas. We've only been to one, and as well as the beach area, which is really nice, nice and shallow. So overall, a fun time. I do recommend the Techno Hotel if you guys are going to Progreso, Mexico, okay? I had a great day in Progreso. It's a great port. This is my first time coming here, and you do if you do go to progressive you do need a tour you need an excursion because it's not much to do when you get off the port when you get off the ship go to the port there's a couple shops right there but there's nothing you do have to take the free shuttle to the island to inland a little bit to where they have different um tours so if you don't book anything when you get off the ship they do have some tours you can take even the um hotel that we already had reserved you could have got that off the ship um, you definitely do have to get something there. It took us maybe like 15 minutes from the um, bus terminal to get to the Techno Hotel. That excursion was pretty awesome. It was $39 for adults, I think $25 for kids. And they did have an option, which my mom did take the option um, to go to the um, Mayans. It'd take an hour of your beach time. She went to the Mayans, looked around, went to where they did the salt at and I'm kind of like regretting that I did not take that hour and go because I do want to see my ruins and since it was it's included he said a lot of people don't know I was thinking there was extra charge it was free charge if you already paid the $39 you're already halfway there he'll just take you to the um Mayan, ru Mayan ruins and come back and you just miss an hour of beach time so if I do come back to Progresso, I will remember that. I will do that. I will come and take the tour to um, Techno Hotel, and I will also do the Maya Ruins. Just for a little history, because um, Progresso is not like Cozumel. It's not like a touristy um, cruise port. It's a lot of history. You have the um, Meridia, I think it was, the um, city that's close by. It's like 30 minutes from the pier. So a lot of I, a lot of people go there for um, shopping or with different tours. So it is a nice place. Um, they do really make a lot of money from the tourism for the cruise ship. We were only ship here on port, so it's not a lot of ships that are going to be in Progresso at the same time. A lot of people don't even come to Progresso. So overall, I had a great time. It was a great um, day. I think it was 93 degrees. So this is. February 18th so coming from Michigan I'm telling you we were windshield factor negative like 30 degrees like two weeks ago to 90 degree weather that's crazy so we're gonna go back like the couple days before we left was ice storm it was like two weeks of school and the kids only went five days because every other day was getting canceled because of the weather and the ice storm and the windshield factor so this vacation came at a great time um, so we have one more full day on the ship. We have tomorrow which is a uh, sea day. So we're just gonna do some sea day activities tomorrow. Um, the rest of the day today, I'm probably gonna go up to the pool deck. Um, there was a show that was at seven o'clock and nine o'clock, a juggling show, which is canceled. I guess the juggler couldn't get through the airport or something. So they have some other shows going on. So I might watch the movie on the big screen tonight. Um, Love and Marriage show tonight at 9 o'clock. I might go to that. So basically just um, going to go do some activities around the ship. Kind of get some dinner and just relax. And tomorrow is going to be a wonderful sea day. It's supposed to be like 93 degrees tomorrow also. So we're loving the Carn Carnival Triumph right now. Definitely. Alright guys, so it's dinner time. We have not been to the main dining room at all. But I think tomorrow I'm going to do the sea day brunch. Well, we're at the buffet right now. Landon got a Reuben sandwich and cookies from the deli. My mom's at the buffet getting food. I was going to wait because I'm, I'm not too hungry, but I think I might as well just get something to eat now while we're all here and then 
at 7 o'clock they're going to play Mission Impossible on the, on the screen outside on the Lido deck, pool deck. So I'll probably just get it something small and go watch the movie. Now Carnival, which I really like about Carnival and their seaside movies, they do have blankets. Just gotta check them out with your um see your card. And um you get a blanket, they do have, they have popcorn. Now the popcorn does not have butter, does not have salt. I put salt on there. But for some reason they do not put butter, it's just regular popcorn, but it's not bad. So last night I watched Jurassic World, which was good. And it, so tomorrow they're playing kid movies, they're playing small foot and a clock in the wall. But I don't really care for Mission Impossible, but it's not really the dudes right now. So we are gonna go watch that. I'm gonna get something to eat, go relax at the pool deck, and watch a movie, and hopefully get to some of the shows tonight. Give me 